Hello, I am Dr. Maria Pepper-Vergos and I would like to introduce a different approach to our oral health. A approach that looks at the mouth in a slightly different way. I want you to consider your mouth as a microbiome, the oral microbiome. It's a term that we are used to in terms of gut health, that the public are very in tune with, they are expressively interested in, yet we in the dental profession don't really talk about the mouth in the same way. However, the oral microbiome is in fact the gateway to the gut. It in itself has its importance, but beyond that, it is the indicator of overall systemic health. We now know of several links to general overall health and the importance of this can be established in the mouth. So I want you to consider the mouth as this oral microbiome in symbiosis of oral health. We have a relationship with our oral microbiota that is in play all the time and in oral health this is a symbiosis so it's a positive relationship between us the host and these bacteria viruses fungus all these different microbiota in our mouths when we change the oral environment the shift swings to dysbiosis which is when dental disease ensues, happens. So I am asking you to look at the mouth in this way and addressing it to patients in this way, empowering them with a philosophy that can reflect the importance of oral health, but also indicate its overall impact on the whole body, a holistic approach to oral health. So in the dental profession, we are experts at diagnosing disease, recognising disease in the mouth, not just day to day dental de decay and caries, as we call it, but we are skilled at recognising imbalances in the oral mucosa, changes in gum health, periodontal health. And we come up often with a a diagnosis and then there's a treatment plan and we aim to to fix and treat patients as best as we can. I am just taking a step before that and asking you to paint the preventative picture, ask patients how they got there and have a, a conversation, a discussion, a lifestyle awareness to try and find out the pattern that their lifestyle and dietary choices have had to lead them to a, a disease state or even a mild change in this symbiotic relationship in the mouth. So we have a rare opportunity as dentists to see in a person's mouth and ask them numerous questions about their lifestyle as to find out how their mouth reflects their dental disease, their dental status, all health status, as well as how that can impact their whole holistic health. So we want to empower patients with knowledge to make lifestyle diet and dietary choices that have a positive effect on their oral health as well as their general health. We want to promote symbiosis in the mouth. We want to educate patients that they have an oral microbiome that needs to be nurtured. And in order to be nurtured, 
we must master it to start with. We must understand it. What do we need to do to promote well-being in our mouths and our bodies? It's not just asking patients whether they smoke or what their alcohol intake is. Hugely important factors in oral health and systemic health. And I'm not overlooking them at all. However, it doesn't stop there. There are nutrition and dietary choices that people are making, often without a thought as to how it can impact their oral health. Not through lo lack of of desire, but through lack of knowledge. And we have an opportunity to, to share insight into the oral microbiome to help educate and empower people with the knowledge to make the right decisions that not only consider oral health, but to make a positive impact on overall health. So nutrition is key. Nutrition, what we put in our mouths, the gateway to the gut, nurturing the oral microbiome is such an important part of oral health. And it can't be overlooked in our discussions with patients. What people are routinely eating often has an impact on their mouths in a way that they don't understand. And we have a specialised knowledge in the mouth and it is important to try and educate people as to how their oral health and general health is so closely linked and to make some small changes, small lifestyle changes to their dietary choices can make a huge overall impact in general and oral health. So we're looking at things like sugars. We all know that refined sugar is bad for our teeth and overall health. However, it's the hidden sugars that patients are unaware of. The change in sugars that happens when you juice fruits, when you dry fruits, when you change them from their whole state, how the sugars become extrinsic, free sugars. And these are the sugars that drive the acid producing bacteria in our mouths that shift from symbiosis to dysbiosis that are negative impacting on our oral microbiome. And it is this pattern that we want to try and help patients avoid the regularity throughout a day of these exposures to extrinsic attacking sugars and being able to recognize them in our diets as well as making choices from a hygiene point of view to help protect our oral health and general health from this shift in the oral microbiome so when to brush our teeth when to use a mouthwash, how to mitigate against this, this dysbiosis that will ensue after an attacking insult on our mouths from an e extrinsic sugar source, from a whatever it may be, from a, a meal time or from a snack. And furthermore, our gum health, our periodontal health is so closely linked to our dietary choices. There is established evidence now that eating a diet rich in alpha lipoic acid is particularly important in promoting good periodontal health and sustaining the oral microbiome in an established, protecting the oral microbiome from this shift into dysbiosis. So there, is, there is a lot of information from what we eat as to how it can impact our microbiome and how we can empower people to try and choose things and make lifestyle choices to improve oral health and well-being. And it's not just nutrition. There is, we know a lot about hygiene and its role in maintaining oral health. 
but there's also signs of stress and mental well-being impacts the mouth as well and we have a unique, unique insight into people's mouths and an opportunity to see how stress can be affecting their body and an opportunity to start a conversation with patients about their mental well-being and how stress is manifesting in their mouths and their overall health. It's, it's an opportunity to speak to patients from a lifestyle overall perspective and trying to empower people with the knowledge to take responsibility for their own oral health as well as their systemic general health. I hope to talk to you more about this subject at the dentistry show where I will be giving a lecture.